Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna go over 10 things I no longer buy. Growing up, we often have the idea that we need more to be happier or to be fulfilled. We're constantly being fed on social media items that we need. But a few months ago, I made the decision to intentionally buy things if one, I either need them or two, if I see it as a reward for hitting a goal or something like that. I was overall just mesmerized by the idea that less is more and to just live a more intentional life. And by no means am I perfect at this, but just having that conscious decision to say that you're just gonna buy things more intentionally and try to live a more minimal life has changed my life dramatically. And I kind of learned over time that by owning less, I actually want less. And before I purchase things now, I really just like to think about it instead of just mindlessly purchasing items just because it's fed through me through the media. Which being more minimal in return has given me way more freedom, it helps me save so much money, and it just gives me way less distract. So hopefully in this video, it can just help you to live more intentionally and minimal and yeah without further ado let's just hop right into it okay so the first one is impulse purchases including fast fashion I used to always just mindlessly scroll through social media or the web and I would see ads of certain clothing items that I wanted or certain influencers just showing off certain items that they loved and even though it was a really great product I would not really think about it and just buy it right away and this decision of just making a ton of impulse purchases just led me to just have a lot of stuff that maybe I used a couple times but then I just stopped using it. I actually learned that a lot of businesses make you feel like you need the item, therefore when you're looking through social media, that is why you want to buy it so badly. But I learned that if someone talked about a product or clothing item that I really liked, then I would just like write it out on a separate list and not look at it for a couple weeks and then if i was still thinking about it after a couple weeks then i would revisit the idea of purchasing but i no longer just mindlessly scroll and buy a purchase right away i think about it for a couple weeks i revisit the idea and if it's still there then i do purchase it this next one is huge especially since i do love tech but it is tech upgrades it's just one that a lot of people spend so much money on yearly that in reality, you really don't need to. I remember I would always want like the newest phone, the newest iPhone, headsets, just like anything tech, I would just want like the newest, latest gadget. And I just learned that in reality, you don't really need to buy a new phone every year. I currently have an iPhone X, X Max, and it works perfectly fine. The camera works great, I still have enough storage, and everything is fine, so I really don't find the need to buy another one at all. I also wanted the Apple Watch for the longest time to track my steps, but the iPhone can actually do that with the health app, so I did not give in with that one. But there are just like little things that I feel like constantly come up, and as a society, I feel like we're so into technology that we always want the newest things. But I encourage you to look at the technology that you have now and see what you don't need to buy next year. So that is something that just really helped me save a lot of money and that I encourage you to look at into what you have and what you don't have to buy this upcoming year. So the next one is makeup. And I used to have so many like eye color shadow palettes and so much makeup that I would consistently buy, go to Sephora and get the deals and do all of that stuff. But what I realized was one, you can actually get makeup that is multi-purpose. So for example, you can get a blush that could also work for your lips, which I personally love because it is like two uses in one, which is really great. And I also just really have a handful of makeup, not a lot, because I personally think that the more natural, no makeup makeup look is the best type of makeup. So overall, I just don't spend so much money on makeup anymore and I stick to my basics. The next one is manicures and pedicures. 
This one, I feel like oftentimes a lot of girls do, they get their nails done every two weeks. And I used to be the same way. I would always wanna get my nails done and have them look like extremely nice. But what I realized is that you can often just do this at home and you can share nail polishes with your friends or I often share it with my mom. And honestly, you can trade colors so it doesn't get boring and you can do it yourself and cut your own nails and it just saves me so much money that way. Because one appointment to get my nails done, I remember would cost me like over $60. And doing that every two weeks definitely adds up. So I just prefer to do my nails at home. I think they look good and by no means am I perfect and I still go to this like every few months because I use it as a reward or if I really need a pedicure because my nails are so bad, but I just don't go as often where it really adds up. I just go like every few months, which is not that bad. And sometimes, you know, you do need a little pedicure. The next one is an Amazon Prime subscription. I feel like having an Amazon subscription just overall makes you wanna buy more things because you're like, oh, I have a subscription, like I'm just gonna purchase from here. You know what I mean? And what I realized by not having one is that you actually don't spend so much time on the app, which makes you buy less items. And two, you can still get free shipping if you buy over $30. And also it just takes a little bit longer for it to arrive, like a week instead of like two days, which again helps with like making sure that I actually really need the item instead of just mindlessly scrolling through the app and buying things. Also, if like I really needed something, then I could just go to like my local like Walgreens, Walmart, Target, whatever, and buy it there. I just feel like this whole like online thing just makes you buy more things because you have access to products literally at your fingertips. So actually physically going to the store, I feel like just like makes you think of like, okay, like this is actually what I need. I'm going to physically go there and it's just like way more intentional. So I personally just don't have it anymore. It's been great and again i can still purchase items from there i would just need to buy a little bit more and also wait a little bit longer which again helps with being more intentional when buying things or just like waiting for a bigger purchase to buy things up next is new furniture so i personally feel like i move a lot and before i would always get new things and constantly be buying new furniture but what i found is one you can really get really great deals from the facebook marketplace that are all secondhand and a lot of people actually buy new furniture and they move so the furniture is actually in really great condition and you can get it for like half the price for example this couch was worth I think she said over three thousand dollars and I got it for seven hundred dollars through the Facebook marketplace and I love this couch like it's the most comfortable couch I have ever had so it's just like little things like that that really make a huge difference the next one is buying a new car. Now, I never fully gave into this one, but I was definitely thinking about purchasing a new car. I really wanted a Tesla and that is what I wanted. But because of the pandemic and everything and really rethinking like transportation and also just how a car's value goes automatically down if you buy a new car, I decided that purchasing a new car was never a thing I really wanted to do a car is just honestly supposed to get you to places and especially now because of the pandemic and i work from home i really don't find the need to have a car just because i have the luxury of not driving to work and also i live really close to places where i can easily just walk places so i don't really need a car and if anything thankfully my boyfriend has one and i can use his but I know it's not everyone's situation. My point with this is that you don't need a brand new car and make such a huge purchase. You honestly just need a car that can take you places wherever you need to go. And if you do wanna buy a nicer car, I would just recommend to buy used just because a new car really depreciates in value after you purchase it and you will never be able to resell it at the same price. The next one is luxury items. I don't know why when I was like in middle school and high school, I had this like whole phase of buying like Coach, True Religion, like all these name brand jeans and luxury items, handbags and all that stuff. And looking back, I'm just like, why did I do that? And even nowadays, I feel like so many people buy luxury items all the time when in reality you can find the same quality of 
bag or whatever luxury item you buy with a different brand that is way less. When you buy a luxury item, you're truly just buying it to have like that brand name, which I guess makes sense because you know you're buying a quality wallet or bag or whatever. But nowadays with the internet and reviews and all that, I just feel like it's so easy to buy, again, just like another handbag or another dupe of that item that is way cheaper for less if you really need it. The next one is wallets. I used to have like big chunky wallets that I would stuff everything in there and I would always keep rebuying wallets. And now I actually just have a wallet in the back of my phone and I only carry two things, which is like my debit card and my license. So I don't even have to think about having my wallet with me because if I have my phone, then I technically have everything. And I also use Apple wallets. So if I do wanna use other cards, then I have it all there which is usually what I end up doing. If they don't have Apple Wallet, then I have my actual credit card to take out and use physically. But having my cards right by my phone makes my life so much easier because I just have to think less of like what I actually need when I leave my house and it just makes life easier. And last but not least is buying new perfumes. I remember I would always buy like the new Victoria's Secret perfumes and go crazy on all these different scents and what I wanted to smell like, which is all really great. But then I just realized that I don't really need all these different perfumes. And oftentimes I would just use like half of a bottle and just throw it away. And it was just like a big waste. So now I actually buy like travel size perfumes because I do like changing scents and I do like the idea of it. But buying a full bottle just seems a little bit too much for me. So I just, again, buy travel size. I use that one up and then I change it for a different scent which again, I buy travel size, so it's not like too much. And that is how I consistently switch my scents, which I personally really like, and that really works for me. But I no longer have like thousands of perfumes like in a box anymore and just carry that one perfume wherever I go. So that brings us to the end of this video. I really hope that you found it helpful and to hopefully help you live a more minimal life. Let me know in the comments what items you no longer buy i'm so curious to hear what you guys have to say and yeah that is pretty much it and i'll see you next time Bye.